the subfloor is done and now we're going to be installing the floor and hopefully it will be done before the sun goes down about six o'clock in the afternoon and more or less and we finally completed the floor looks very beautiful I think now I'm just gonna have to get some a trim piece for right here uh, it's kind of dark but a trim piece for that end there where it meets the cab and then a trim piece aluminum trim piece right for the end right there and we're gonna be done for now so I don't know if I'll be able to help more but at least we got this much done this is a threshold from the uh, cab area to the back this is the step for the side door with a nice aluminum piece there and then I put another one in the back right there I think it looks really nice now this floor is acting as one piece I didn't have to drill through the floor of the van to uh, make sure that this floor does not slide anyway because now that it's acting as a one piece all the sides of the van because the sides are not, not straight you know you have got all these zigzags on one side and all these zigzags and the wheel well and all that all all those things will keep this floor from sliding back and forth and uh, since we have the floor right against the walls it's not um, going anywhere staying here for good all right so we've decided that this center bar is coming out and so is that one going across there so what I'm going to do is attempt to cut this with a jigsaw if that doesn't work we need to buy a bigger tool and if that doesn't work third option is to go to a body shop and have them cut that off
All right, so I got two problems here. Uh, problem number one is that uh, my blade is too short to go all the way across the metal once it reaches the middle here where it, it, it's uh, there's a little more space between this and this and if I take this off then my blade hits the palisio so I'm gonna need a bigger tool and the other problem is that the Sun is going down so I'm gonna have less power going to my batteries pretty soon so I think I mean this thing is cutting it, but this blade isn't cutting it, literally, <laughs> it's not cutting it, too small. So maybe we'll go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get a Sawzall maybe, maybe rent one and uh, try that. All right. Let's see if they have the tool I need. Yep, so last night I just um, run out of time to rent a generator and a, and a sawzall because that's what I'm going to need to cut those, those metal bars. My jigsaw just wouldn't do it and I was looking at sawzalls even the Ryobi Sozol that's um, battery powered by an 18 volt battery, it was just too much money. We didn't really need that. Uh, and it was not just a Sozol that was expensive, which by itself it was not that expensive. It was only 50 some dollars, I think. But then you have the battery and the battery charges and all that so everything adds up and I ended up not getting it so we are going to rent a generator for a couple hours and um, and the sawzall which will be much cheaper than buying a sawzall battery and charger and all that so that's the plan for today